Welcome to Jenny's Paleontology lesson and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be announcing the starting of a new series of videos. But before I reveal the topic of this specific video and the series that will be upcoming after this video, I want to talk a little bit about my inspiration behind why I decided to do this series. So ever since I was a kid, I've been captivated by dinosaurs. I remember buying encyclopedias of dinosaurs and going to dick pits and museums. It was great. It was really fun. But what I didn't realize is that there is a much bigger world outside of dinosaurs in our Earth's history. And once I dug a little deeper, I realized that while um, you know, these dinosaurs, they are the stars of the fields contemporarily, there are a lot more players. So this series of videos is sort of dedicated to other prehistoric creatures that have really captivated my mind ever since I started um, to dig a little deeper on things. So in this video, we're going to be talking about trilobites. Get ready and let's get started. Trilobites are ancient arthropods that are extremely diverse and prolific within the Paleozoic era, and that was why it was deemed as an index fossil. An index fossil is a fossil that is very exclusive or distinctive towards a certain time period, and therefore if found, um, paleontologists can use these found index fossils to date the matrix around it and um, other organisms within the same layer of the matrix. So more specifically, tri Trilobites are hard-shelled arthropods that were thriving in the Paleozoic era with a segmented body and limbs, although those were really fully encapsulated and preserved within the fossil. Um, trilobites belong to an, an extinct class called Trilobita, which includes over 20,000 species. And therefore, it shouldn't come as a surprise to you that they occupied a variety of environmental niches like predators and scavengers, as well as having a wide variety of shape, form, and size. Now, I want to give you a challenge. I want you to picture a trilobite in your head. Now, did it look anything like these? Well, if it did, you are probably thinking of Arathia kinji. And they are really the species of trilobites that are most closely associated with the popular media's depiction of trilobites. They were little scavengers that lived on sea floors scavenging for food. And one of the reasons why they are almost perfectly preserved in the fossil record and there is such an abundance of them is because they thrive in low oxygen environments, which means that they're less scavengers because because they're less creatures who can survive in those environments and that they are in um, the lowest water uh, layer of water in the water column usually called the benthic layer and that means there's also less movement in the water now combine those two and you have almost a great perfect spot for fossilization because there's almost no disturbance or predators um excuse me scavengers that will scavenge for those bodies as a result they are really one of the best recorded species of trilobites available out of the 20,000 trilobites, of course. Physiologically, they are um, trilobites with a wide thorax and short genial spines. And as to their size, they range from about a few milliliters to 5.08 centimeters. Alrighty, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and stay healthy. And please look forward to future videos about trilobites or other prehistoric creatures that really captivated me once I dug a little deeper. See ya!